Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Giving honor, no glory, no praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Achakadash. The bonds of great most other possible teaching of will, peace, salutation, though, for elect the scattered abroad, to like the other nations, Shalom. Okay, this is the part two to the uh, concern of friends, shirts, and keeping your garments white. And uh, what we last left off talking about how the Lord looks on the uh, inward man and how the Lord doesn't look on the outer person because, you know, the outer person can be very deceiving, you know, because you can put on the uh, facade, you know, that word facade, you know, It says a, a facade appearance, you know. So a facade in a person, it says a false appearance that makes someone or something seem more pleasant or better than they really are, right? These people that wear these friends search, you know, if you're not sincere in your heart, okay, you um really putting on a facade, you know, you pulling on a false appearance, okay? You trying to make it seem like you holier making yourself seem like you holy the whole time man you full of uh mischief uh mischievous behavior man and the lord doesn't like that man okay when you come to this truth man you have to be fully renewed in your mind you have to be uh you got to be serious about what you believe in man okay because hey this is this this truth is life or it can be your life or your death, man. Your betterment or your detriment, all right? So that's why, you know, we constantly go into these things, you know, not to put nobody down, but to let you know, like, don't matter, you know, how, how good your friend's teacher look. Hey, man, you can still be wicked as hell, even with a friend's shirt on. And then, you know, that makes a bad look when you are in public misbehaving you got friends on man you blaming them getting the ministry blame man okay so that's why you know the lord looks on the outer person man i mean it looks in the inner person so like, yeah, not the outer because the outer person is can put on a facade making it seem like they they good the whole time they full of mischievous works okay so without further ado let's get into uh the next scripture what was the it was uh, Jeremiah 17 and 10. Okay. Jeremiah 17 and 10. And it reads and it says, <clears throat> I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, Yahweh, search the heart. I have tried the reins and even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. Right? So, you know, you got to understand, like, the Lord looks at the heart, man. And look, you can have the, a holy appearance, but in your heart, you are desperately wicked, man. Okay, that's why the scriptures say the heart is wicked above all things, man. Because, hey, you can call yourself in the truth and you wearing fringes. You you got the fancy regalia on and all that, man. And still be wicked as hell, man. So you can't get around that, man. Okay. But like I said, are you wicked for wearing friends, friends shirts? No. If you want to do so, do so. But just know if you are not fully converted in your mind and you wearing fringes, then that kind of defeats the purpose because you didn't, you never changed. All right. You never changed. All right. So let's get one more and I'm going to sign on off. This is uh, the book of Revelation 6 and 11. Okay. Because we touch on these things to edify. Okay, it's all lessons are edifying as long as you're teaching the 100% doctrine. Okay, so this is uh, Revelation 6 and 11, and it says, And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest for a little season, 
and to their fellow servants also and their brethren that sh they should be killed as they were as they were should be fulfilled right so what is those white raiments white garments and stuff like that that's going to appear purity man you know we're gonna be uh pure you know when we back what i forget back in the spirit you know because some of us gonna be martyrs you know we're gonna be pure okay in a pure state of mind all right and you know yeah it, it, it can be physical that we gonna get these white robes and stuff like that man but at the same time you gotta understand man you know that this is the, the, the white stands for purity okay we right now to be keeping our garments right now at white okay because hey if you calling yourself in the truth and you being wicked man and you wearing t t friends t-shirts man you know it kind of defeats the purpose in general man you know you, you just still of the world just putting on the facade that you are holy okay and that's a that's a big trend amongst israel man want to look holy want to seem as they holy man but when it comes to their mind their heart they not fully circumcised within their heart man okay so that's why we say it's nothing wrong with wearing fringes but just know that hey when you wear them you are expected to behave what the fringes behave just as what the fringes represent man okay and us that don't wear them you know we are to behave as if we are wearing them okay but the thing is you are thinking upon doing the right thing thinking upon following the law statute commandments to the best of your ability because you can't keep all 613 commandments on this side okay because everything is defiled man you wearing a spherence t-shirt and it got mixed fabrics in there okay you got to think about that okay your shirt 10 percent uh 70 percent cotton and then the rest 20 percent polyester okay they cancel each other out you know so that's why you know you got to understand that we do the best that we can so Karen, that's been this lesson lord willing this edifying giving all honor no glory no praise and due to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim wakakadash till next time till next video shalom and double arms of great mills to add up possible